but obviously he knew me because he just went up to me and said he's always in my heart and he just kept he just kept walking on and so the way you've all spoken I know he's in your hearts too thank you I first witnessed the real power of the storytelling of the power of storytelling in the 1990s early 90s when uh, when, when Blue and Mama Ruth came to North Carolina and, and, and I had to do a very special arts festival and there were young folks in there who had mental disabilities. They put me in this room and these kids were like on the floor and they were in fetal positions and I'm trying to tell stories to them and it wasn't connected and I turned it over to Blue and man, this brother went off and crawled and kissed and touched each one of me. Before the session was over, every kid in there was flying around like butterfly. <laughs> Let me tell you some of these boys is out here hustling, slugging, cussing like they mama ain't taught them nothing. I saw this thug. Lord, he was so. Praise to the creator of the sun, the moon, and the stars. Praise to the one who allows our hearts to beat in our chests, allows our lungs to draw in the sacred breath of life. Besides, she's gonna throw the railing away because she she just can't hold a railing and hold a baby do it all. If the ice breaks again, she'll just drown. She finds the baby and she begins to walk gingerly, gingerly. Finally, finally, finally the ice holds. You men and women of sun and moon downloading your ancestors who prodded you into an arena called activism and love. These you, careful craftspersons of words and life, aristocratic word sorcerers with your stories. Well, nobody ever helped me to a cage or my mother to give me any best play. In the summertime, he would be excruciating. And it's really good seeing all these new young people oh, doing something yeah, that exactly. really challenges people as, as far as self-confidence. Yes. Yes.